welcome back to the channel. I'm Scumbag Johnny, and I've got another build for you guys. This is going to be an updated build, uh, the current build for my Saren. So, it should be fun. I love Saren. Probably most of you guys know she's my favorite. If you've ever been to my channel, watch my videos. She's my main Warframe and always will be. Even with uh, Revenant coming out, I don't really feel like he's... I don't want to make a video for him yet. Let's just say that. Um, I'm not terribly impressed by him. His 4 is pretty good. Um, it can clear just about anything if you power it up. But uh, I'm going to be focusing on my current Saren build, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So let's get right fucking to it. So I'll show you guys my setup. Um, I don't have my companion on just because I, I don't want him in the video. So we'll start with Saren herself. Um, I've done a few adjustments since the Umbral mods came out. I've went ahead and equipped those mods to her, and they are, they're really, really fucking awesome on Saren. Um, they just complement her really nicely. Um, so let's go through the, the mods here. I, I did Forma this to go for Steel Charge, because this is mostly a melee build. I focus on melee a lot with Saren. I feel like she excels at it, and she's just one of the best melee frames in the game, in my opinion. Um, so I changed it to Steel Charge for 60% melee damage, went with Cutting Drift, Prime Flow. Um, I like using Flow on Saren. I don't use it on all of my frames, but on Saren I do because I also use Quick Thinking. Just in case I get into a pickle, um, she could survive and she has a lot of, uh, a lot of energy there to, um, to be able to survive and not get killed. Stretch. Umbral Vitality, that's the first Umbral mod. Blind Rage for more strength. Already saw Quick Thinking. Um, Umbral Intensify. Hunter Adrenaline. Um, I have a lot of health here with the Umbral, Intens or Umbral Vitality. excuse me. So when I take damage, I get more energy. Um, and that also helps me stay alive. More energy means Saren staying alive for longer. And I went ahead and threw Umbral Fiber on. This is the new addition to my uh, my build. I did have these two Umbral mods here before, um, but I figured why not throw the third one on? It powers all these up. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm sure you do. I'm not uh, not preaching, but um, when you have all three mods on, it's the set mod uh, bonus that you get. So it boosts all of them. So right now, these are what my stats are looking like. I don't need a whole lot of range with this build. Um, I find that this is pretty good. Um, 160 is good. Uh, basically 200 strength is very nice. The arcanes, don't worry about those. Those are just the ones I threw on there. They don't really do much for me right now. Um, but this is my Umbral Melee mod. It's really fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, let me go through the, the rest of the weapons. Um, if you guys saw my last video, I, I use the Phantasma. I showed that off a little bit. Um, one of my subs or viewers went ahead and said go ahead and throw on Blaze instead of, what did I have on there? Vigilante Armaments. So I did that and it is more powerful. So thank you, um, I can't remember your name right now, but thank you to whoever that was. Um, I appreciate it. it, made the gun even more stupid. Um, so yeah, that's my Phantasm build. Actually, let me just run through it so you guys can see all the mods. In case you didn't see my last video, please go watch that. Um, it's a more in-depth look at this weapon. Um, my Pox is a huge part of my Saren build. Obviously, it, it doesn't work on Molt anymore, but I was never a Molt Saren player, so it doesn't bother me. But this Pox build is really nice. Uh, we have Hornet Strike, obviously Barrel Diffusion. This ribbon I got really lucky with. Don't hate me, but it, it it's pretty fucking incredible. Lethal Torrent, Pathogen Rounds, Convulsion, just to boost the corrosive stupid amounts. Look at that. 7,686 Pistol Pestilence and Scorch. So with Heat and Corrosive, it melts Grenier. It melts anything, really. It doesn't matter what you throw these things at. It just melts them down, and I'll show you. Um, and then I have my Zaw. So this is... Um, since this is a melee build, the melee weapon obviously is the most important part. Um, you can use any melee you want with Saren. Any melee weapon. Anything's going to work, really. I, I can throw any melee weapon on her and she's good. But with this one, it's uh, particularly good because of my uh, Exodia Hunt 
Um, Arcane, um, it's only at rank 1, but you still get a 20% chance to pull enemies within 6 meters into melee range. So it pulls them in and it allows you to do finishers on them, which is cool. It's a cool bonus when it happens. But let's look at the build. Temple Royale, um, I just love Temple Royale. It's fast, it, it's it got large swiping motions, horizontal sweeps, and it gets rid of everything. Prime pressure point, condition overload, prime reach, my ribbon for this, which is pretty good, so don't hate me. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it is very good on, on this build. Um, so I do use the ribbon on there. Prime Fury, uh, Virulent Scourge, Berserker, and Life Strike. So Life Strike I put on there obviously to stay alive. Um, when I get in a, another pickle, I just basically hold channeling for a second, hit an enemy, I got all my health back. Now this will change with the upcoming melee uh, 3.0, and I do realize that, but um, I'll make adjustments to fit the, the update coming up, so uh, expect another updated video. Um, now on Saren's melee, I went back and forth with having corrosive and um, you know trying out different elements, but I just went with one element. I just went with toxin because I do like having Berserker and Prime Fury just for the amount of hits and the amount of speed um, that you get with these two stacked. It's just fun for me. It's personally what I like. Um, it's just a it's just chaos and it's a lot of a lot of damn fun. Um, you don't have to. You can go, obviously, you can sacrifice some speed for, um, if you want to put corrosive, uh, you know, whatever element you want to put on there. But I just go with this, because she also has her Toxic Lash, um, which boosts the Toxin even more. And you'll see it has no problems melting enemies down. Um, so that looks like it's it there. Let's get to the... Actually, let me go through her abilities, because there's a few that I think people tend to forget about a few aspects of her, her abilities. So one is her passive is status effects inflicted upon enemies last longer, so that's great. Uh, we want that. So Spores, you guys probably know all about the um, her abilities. I won't, I won't go over those too much in depth. Um, if you guys want me to, just let me know. Uh, I don't see why though, you guys could read it right here. But one thing about Toxic Lash that I don't know if a lot of people really pay a whole lot of attention to is the damage block so while you're blocking and you have toxic lash on you're going to be negating 79.6 percent of damage which makes her extremely extremely tanky on top of all the armor and vitality i already have she's fucking super tanky and i'll show you um actually i'll show you how that works and you can increase the damage block i got it up to I think 85 percent with more strength um so let me show you guys first i'll just show you with invincibility and the ai paused on we'll do some heavy gunners here let's just do eight of them and simulate them so i will show you guys like i said i won't be going over i'll show you guys my pox um actually i'll go ahead and go all uh, over all the weapons, but let's do melee first. So, with uh, let me get some energy actually. Uh, fuck, let's get that energy now. On it, like I said, on its own without any buffs, it's not the most terribly powerful. I mean, this is obviously when you have them frozen, all the hits are crit, so we won't do that. Let's show you guys without them frozen. Cause that's dumb yeah with frozen and you use melees it's gonna do crits all the time so like without her her abilities on it's not insanely powerful if I put corrosive on this it will melt them down really quick but like I said I don't really like it I like the speed I'm getting here and the R1 uh, combo on this dock room is really fun and it's still you guys can see it's still very powerful I mean, it is, <laughs> it's fucking up their day. So let me go back and now I will uh, simulate them again. And then this time I'll do the ability. So I'll pop Toxic Flash, pop Spores, 
and you guys will see how fast. I mean, it's like that all the time with her. It's just a tornado of melee and destruction, shit like that. Saren just makes a joke out of all these enemies. So we'll show you again. It, it's very um, consistent too. And I realize I'm invincible right now, but I will show you that she can take some hits too. So there was the Exodia Hunt coming in there. So it's really, really efficient. So now, let me go ahead and take off my invincibility. Because um, I know it's no fun seeing an invincible frame. It doesn't really, especially if this is a frame that I take out in the field. You guys are going to see how, um, how it performs out there. So we'll pop Toxic Lash. And let me just show you guys how much damage I can negate just by blocking here. These are 120s. And look at my health and energy. Like without this, I would be getting screwed up. And then since I have uh, Life Strike, I can just get most of my health back. And then just do it again. It's She's very tanky. Especially this Umbral setup, she's got a lot of uh, a lot of tankiness on her, so you don't ever really have to worry about going down. If you're, especially, I'm not moving around; I'm just blocking. But if you're moving around, if you're doing rolls, negating a lot more damage with rolls and stuff like that, jumping through the air, you're almost never going to go down in most situations. And I understand these are just a one enemy type, but I've played plenty of high level missions with a bunch of different enemies, and I hardly ever go down with Saren. Hey, you can just block this. Her toxic lash is worn off, so I gotta be careful. Oh, that enemy fell down. I'll just show you but with one enemy. And two, as I'm taking damage, um, I also have that uh, rage mod on her, so it's not the rage mod. What is it called again? Let's see. It's the the new Eidolon, not Eidolon, Plains uh, mod here this hunter adrenaline so I'm getting energy back as I'm taking hits to my HP so it's really really nice <clears throat> so let me show you guys again how quickly you can uh, dispatch these fuckers oh and also which is it's very useful is her her molt so as you're doing melee you can pop that down their attentions on that you just go around to the back and completely decimate. So that's even more tankiness she has. Because they're focusing on this shit, they're not hitting you. It's fucking amazing. And then you get the speed boost. So the more strength you have, I don't know if you guys know this either. Probably do. Uh, the more strength you have, I believe, the faster your speed boost will be uh, for your molt. So it's a good way to get out of shitty situations where you're going to fucking die. Um, and you can just keep popping this. It's, it's really useful. And I'll show you guys with a gun how this works. Let's uh, simulate. Let's pop on the fantastic Phantasma. I gotta be more careful here because uh, obviously. So I'll just pop that. Oops, I got knocked the fuck down. And I fell down there. Oopsie daisy. So you pop that, their attention's gonna be over there. I keep falling. What am I doing? Oh, and also you can charge the ball on this. I didn't know that. But thanks to a viewer again for filling me in on that too. Uh, you can you can charge the projectile on the secondary on that weapon. And the only reason I survived that there is because of uh, <clears throat> uh, quick thinking. So it, it, she's very tanky, and you can take a lot of damage. And not die. Um, I don't know if there's anything more for me to go over on her. Uh, I think I went over everything. To obviously, when you have your companion on, you are gonna have help from that. You know, ammo drum and all that crap. So um, you won't run out of ammo. I think I went over every fucking thing. This is my new Saren build, and I I love it. I run with it every single day. I get, I start to miss her if I'm using another frame. So that's it guys. 
I appreciate you hanging out. Try this build out. It is very form heavy. Let me let me tell you that. <laughs> Since you're using these uh, Umbral mods, they don't have a damn polarity slot for them. I wish they did. It is very form heavy, so I do have four form on her. Um, so you will have to, if you want to try this exact build, you will have to form her a few times, probably three or four times. But aside from that, it's an incredibly all-around great build. It's not just melee. That's what I focus on, but it, it, you know, it wrecks with everything. So I will leave you guys with that. Um, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. I'm, I'm really trying to, uh, you know, give you guys more content every day. I'm going to try to eventually pump out two videos a day if I can. So, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Try out the builds. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for me that I can... Um, implement into my build and make it better comment in the section down below and i'll check that out and show me your builds too guys i really appreciate it uh until the next video thank you guys peace out